Mark Rogers, TV Talk in Miami football with the uh, season just days away. We bring in uh, Isaiah Kim Martinez from the Miami Hurricane, who's uh, been the editor there for a couple of years. Uh, Isaiah, how are you doing tonight? I'm good, Mark. How are you? I'm doing just fine. So thanks for uh, stopping by to uh, give us some insight on the Canes as they get uh, set for the 2017 campaign at Bethune-Cookman this Saturday. Uh, you're right there on campus writing and uh, editing for the uh, student newspaper. So can you give us a bit of a feel since you've been around the program for a few years of what the the vibe is, what the, what the hype is in, re in regards to this particular team since there is uh, – pretty high expectations uh, for Mark Rick's crew this year. Oh, no doubt. Um, when it comes to the Miami Hurricanes and all the sports that, that are offered here, football is the sport. Um, you can tell it with the students, with the fans around campus locally. It gets the most excitement always, even before Mark Rick coming. And then after Mark Rick coming, obviously head coach comes back to the U. There was just like another level of excitement, I would say, that you know came with him coming to, to coach U football. And with that, with recruiting after last year, what people thought was a pretty good year overall, um, his first year out with obviously a lot of guys that weren't his guys, so to speak, they were recruited by you know, Al Golden, the previous guy and, and so forth. So he did a good job by most people's opinions last season. Then coming into this season, getting to recruit you know, his guys, getting to recruit a lot of freshmen who will be used both on offense and on defense this year, um, there's a lot of excitement with the Ricked era, as they call it, uh, quote unquote, and, and just what he's going to bring this season and, and beyond. I, I think that the excitement that never really left with Miami football, especially here, but as an as a national kind of, you know, national um, way of looking at it, I believe that uh, Kane's football is getting more exciting, not just for the fans here, but fans are around the U.S., Speaking of which, Isaiah, the last time, of course, Miami vied for a national championship and took it to the last game was that infamous uh, late flag against Ohio State at the Fiesta Bowl. That's been a long time ago for, for guys like you. So you're a sports guy. You know the history. Uh, you know how great Miami's been. D does the student population, d for the most part, have uh, a knowledge of where this football program has been in the past? No doubt. Anybody who goes to Canes football who really considers himself a sports fan, um, it played a huge role in their decision to come here, to be honest, um, the fanship when it comes to football. And they have this, this hunger and this taste to, to kind of have that you know, greatness again as a, as a program. And they know the history. They'll, they'll tell you all about it and all the great players that used to go here. And ever since the Rick decision and, and some positive signs last year, they've wanted um, to get back to the top. And I, I think this year is going to, build from last year and, and so on over the next few years. We'll see. That list of football players that are going to be inducted into the Miami Hall of Fame, I believe it's uh, at halftime of the Georgia Tech game. That just gives any football fan indication if they know any history of college football, uh, the level of athlete that we're talking about and the level of accomplishment at Miami in the recent past, meaning the last 20, 25 years uh, compared to most schools. It is extremely impressive because you're not just talking about uh, legends in college football, but in many cases, uh, ones that turned out to be legends on the next level and are pro football Hall of Famers as well. It's, it's an amazing uh, tradition here that's uh, basically been since 1980. Uh, on the, yeah. uh, for for Miami football, 